are begging Biden, shopping for endorsements. Atiku hits the number. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party (PDP), Atiku Abubakar, has expressed disgust at the presidential campaign organization of the All Progressive Congress (APC) is shopping for endorsements and begging United States President Joe Biden to call to congratulate Bola Tinumbu. Without the call of Biden, will it change anything? With the call of Biden, will it hurt anything? Honestly, as a nation with over 200 million people, sometimes the way politicians speak, it baffles me. Why are they seeking for to Biden to call the president? Would that give it a legitimate election or what? We as a nation, are we not supposed to be talking about things? Who told them that the white, the West, love Africa or love our nation, Nigeria? We should be looking at things and that will make us better than looking at the recognition from above, looking for recognition from far nation before we can do things right. If they're sure of what they have done, why are they looking for legitimacy from other quarters? They should face what we need to face as a nation and forget how many of them give the desired support when we need them. How many of them want the progress of our nation and even Africa? Why are we looking up to them for legitimacy in most of the things that we do? Atiku, who spoke through his special assistant on public communication, Frank Shahibu, in a statement in Abuja said, it was shameful that the All Progressive Congress campaign council could descend so low, so low indeed. If they are asking for that legitimacy, honestly, it's low. Shaibu said, the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Committee, Directorate of News Media, Femi Fanekayode, and spoke taken to Twitter to say that although the United States State Department had congratulated Tinumbu, there was a need for Biden to add his voice as both the United States and Nigeria shared a historic relationship. Which historic relationship, whether it calls or not, will it change anything? What is it bringing to the table? Will it bring all the reparation that we've been asking for back to this country? We should leave matter and face matter that will bring the progress of this nation. Seeking for foreign nations to recognize or call the president elect does not or will not add anything as far as I am concerned. Yes, the American State Department and the American Ambassador to Nigeria both congratulated and assured you for this we are eternally grateful and it reflects a measure of respect. However, it is time for Joe Biden to pick up the phone and add his voice. We are a big nation, we deserve no less. Faneka Ode tweeted, You don't need to tell anybody you are a big nation. Whatever you deserve, they need to accord it to you. You don't need to call anybody. You don't need to mention or tell them that you are a big nation. If you deserve anything, they should accord it to you instead of you asking for it. The article aired in the statement said Faneka Ode's remark were evidence of desperation. Shaibu described Fanfire Coyote's action as appalling, appalling, even as he called on Tinumbu and his team to stop forcing foreign countries to recognize the sham election conducted by Independent National Electoral Commission. He added, after being the beneficiary of the worst and most fraudulent election in the history of Nigeria, Tinumbu and his ink are now running from pillar to post 
begging Western powers to recognize Tinumbu, this is the height of desperation. It is reminiscent to recognize of the Sani Abacha days where the maximum ruler tried to ingratiate himself with the West after refusing to recognize Moshuka Shima Uola Wale Abiola as the winner of June 12 election and deciding to seize power over a people that did not want him. Even the United States ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Beth Leonard, stated expressly that Nigerians' election was below the expectation of Nigerians. Well, why are we even seeking for these Western nations to recognize whatever we do in Africa or in Nigeria? Is it not at the time that we begin to let these people know that we are independent, we can do things right on our own? Without their input, without them guiding us, what has the guiding of this Western nation done to Nigeria or Africa? Has it added any value? Well, maybe because we have a lot of debt hanging our net from this Western nation, that is why most of the time when they talk with Shiva, several credible media houses locally and internationally, as well as United European Union observers, have all questioned the credibility of this election. Yet, Tinubu and his egg want a stamp of approval on it. What a joke. Shaibu further noted that even Chatham House, an independent policy institute based in London, in an analysis by one of its fellows, said the February 25th presidential election showed that the Independent National Electoral Commission failed to learn new lessons. The lessons were they highlighted because for me, instead of them talking up with, they should let us know what and what INEC did wrong. The London-based think tank had the stress that the electoral empire failed to adhere to its own guidelines, which it put in place before the poll, especially the one bordering on the uploading of results in real time. Shaibu advised the Numbu's campaign team to save their strength for the legal challenge in the coming weeks rather than beg the United States President Joe Biden to recognize his tainted mandate. Is the tainted mandate tainted? Well, for me, whoever is looking for recognition outside the shores of this country before they will believe whatever we are doing is right, they need to think twice. The election has come and gone. Whatever errors that need to be corrected, let those that grieve do the needful. Our nation must remain one. We are one. But if because of election we've decided or choose to divide ourselves, then it's not a good omen for this nation.